What up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with another dope reaction for you. That is right, we are back at it, and Anna Magician just dropped a brand new video about Dream SMP theories, and this one is called Dream is About to End the SMP, and this one is kind of a follow-up from uh, his one that Dream tricked us all. So I'm pretty stoked. You guys know I love theories, and I like to hear what Anna Magician thinks is gonna happen or what kind of clues he thinks he's discovered so i'm pretty stoked for this and i hope you enjoy the reaction but before we jump into the video fam please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button it's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel but enough talking let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass in hot sauce beats is finally here hot sauce beats is finally here eat sleep make beats eat Soft boots. Oh, we here. We here. Let's go. Chat. All right. So as you should know already, there was this giant reveal on the SMP a couple of days ago. I made a video about that right after it happened, so to understand really how the hell this all even came to be, go watch it. But that basically, one. involved Dream literally planning everything, including being put in prison. And so, if you guys have not seen that yet, you should definitely check it out. Either check out my reaction or go to Animagician's channel and check it out uh, because it'll. It'll give you a little more context in uh, probably what today is about. Yeah, Pun's entire betrayal was staged, which another video of mine predicted, by the way, and people played perfectly into Dream's hands. But the question everyone is asking now is why? Why would Literally, Dream make why? the condition so bad only to make himself less suspicious? Why, why would he, he let himself go down to one canon life, sacrificing everything just to, what, stay in a box for 10 months? And okay, <laughs> this might sound like a bold claim, but I think we can actually answer a lot of these questions. Really? Most importantly, the most pressing question of all. What's next? What is Dream's grand plan here that he's had for over a year now, that he's intent on finishing now that he's free once again? Well, buck. And chat, let me know what are some of your guys' theories. Like, do you think dream did put himself in prison like was that all planned you know what i mean like he planned on getting caught and getting put in prison do you think that's not what happened what do you think is gonna have or happen on the smp a lot, because know. before we take a trip to the future i mean that I literally the things i connected to this are insane we need to collect every single hint that might reveal the truth between dream's mastermind plan to fake <laughs> the discord finale so the first thing to note is that dream is not being honest to anyone with how much he's absolutely tricked them all i don't think it needs to be said we shouldn't believe a word he says in character Facts. especially when it comes to disconnecting from certain people sure it seemed like technobade just kicked him out to fend for himself after the favor was repaid right but Here's a catch. Dream doesn't want to reveal his allies. He literally made Pun to lead the charge against him to make people think they're not working together. This man has a That's track really record point. of hidden alliances. I mean, and like chat, I'm not gonna lie. When uh, when we found out during what two week, two or three weeks ago, when all that lore happened, <clears throat> that Puns was an ally. I'm like, what? We don't that even know what's going on with Randu anymore, who is said to have helped it immensely and who literally <laughs> helped him blow up the community house, and he hasn't mentioned him to anyone once. The reason why Techno acted so called a dream in front of the rest of the syndicate, it's because they're secretly still working together, trading favors, as Phil put it, and sure. Dream doesn't want but anyone to know now, that, though. as it's likely Techno would be targeted. Because what Techno's everyone seems to forget anymore. about, and an essential piece of evidence, is that Techno still has books from Dream that we have yet to see. Yeah, he found the blueprints, thanks to the corners Dream gave him in the book labeled Information, oh but they were God, in the prison for right. months together and get this there are actually four other books that went completely unopened three books from the prison state that are labeled dream sam and quackity respectively as well as a book hidden way before the finale even yeah, happened in the chest I where techno found the blueprints this. and none of these have been mentioned or even addressed seems suspicious yet this proves that techno Very has more sus. information that we think something kind him and dream together that he isn't telling the viewers about on purpose mm. and instead trying to divert attention and cover up his tracks by severing all visible ties with dream immediately even dream as soon as he has gear beelines straight for the active piece in longsuit chair and gets it from tommy to give it back to techno leaving no favor unpaid but there are still a lot of loose ends considering these two's relationships and we have no way of knowing what kind of plan they might have concocted during the literal months that they've had this scheme okay but what did dream do right after he assured techno wouldn't be suspected of working with him he went after tommy and then sapped up causing both of them to do the exact same thing fortify their bases and prepare for for war. He chased Very Tommy true. straight towards Phil and the syndicate and then disappeared, physically purling in his way to make sure he was going the right direction. He threatened him and basically did any- I never, I never really thought of it that way. I mean, you could definitely look at it as the way that Dream was purling, purling 
that you know he was like you know forcing him <clears throat> to go over to Phil's base but I don't get why though that that didn't make anything happen so I don't, I don't know. he could That's to make point, him though. scared, which he also did with Sapnap threatening his country, the Kinoko Kingdom, and making him think that he was going to attack it then and there, resulting in Sapnap dashing over to it, but Dream never actually arriving, because that wasn't his plan at all. Neither was killing Tommy then and there. He could have easily done both, but no. He has something completely different he's planning, and these are merely distractions he's using as a red herrings to throw people off the scent of his true plan. And that plan, while I definitely don't know all the details of it, I mean, we just found out that getting himself put in prison was even a part of some overarching plan that Dream had, I believe that I have tangible evidence of that plan being almost completely unstoppable. Believe me, it's something absolutely crazy. How do I know? Well, the answer is simple. Time travel. Let me explain. During the Tales from the SMP series, Carl travels through different times of the SMP's existence, both past and future. He finds out more about the backstory and eventual fate of the world, all while losing touch with his own reality. However, his journeys are still vital to the plot because knowing where the story is heading, he can change it before it actually happens. In which, so speaking of Tales of the SMP chat, um, we need to react to the Lost City of Mizzou. I'll be doing that here very soon. And, uh, cause... Evan MC Gaming has said that his next video is going to be Tales of the SMP. So I want to be 100% caught up with all of Tales of the SMP. Uh, so A, nothing spoiled for me when we watch Evan, Evan MC Gaming's new video. And B, just so I have a, a better understanding of it. That was something that was difficult when I first got into it. It was like... I didn't understand any of the context. The one we're interested in right now is one very special episode. The only one so far, besides the one with the glass set shortly in the future, that directly references the current SMP members as figures from the past. And not just that, the people we met were descendants of the current SMP members. Well, the one guy we met anyways, as Ranbob claims to have killed every other member of the underwater city for some unspecified reason. Wait. Underwater? Hold, hold on a second, when and why did that happen? Well, in the episode itself, a bunch of fishermen are toured around the place by a forgetful half-enderman who definitely isn't a bloodthirsty axe murderer. One of the rooms is called the community room. You know, like the community house, the first building on the SMP built by Dream. And that's not the only weird thing in this episode. I mean, a town in an enclosed space, a cafeteria, a traitor whose only mission is to kill them all. I mean, this is looking a little su- at this point, there are several hints that Dream might have something to do with this, but as Fishman progressed through the city, the things which said about video, the different SMP members get increasingly more weird. I mean, Eric killed George? Ranbu, of all people, had an impeccable memory? The Eggpire is implied, but not actually recorded in history. Sapnap, who is apparently the protector of pets, I could go on, but basically, all of this is weird. This is sent hundreds of years into the future, but a lot of these things are too weirdly specific to be just mistakes. Also, okay, why does one of the books mention the need for oxygen and air filtration? Wasn't the air outside fine to breathe? So could it be that Dream somehow found a way to reset the server or maybe even everyone's memories, effectively reaching his goal of going back to how it was at the beginning of the server? This notion actually has some stuff backing it up. Dream started planning this whole thing, commissioning the prison and setting up to get the discs for the possessions way back, actually very soon after Lamanberg was blown up by Wilbur. And coincidentally, that was right after he got his hands on the most powerful object on the SMP, the Revival Book. And this might not seem like that good of a clue, but the thing is, the revive book is not and definitely will not only be used for reviving people. I mean, it's been established back during the Cellmate stream that the revive book could do more than just bring people back from the dead for sure. It's how Dream and Techno summoned Dream XD, who then felt compelled to grant them a wish for some reason. Whether that was out of the kindness of the god's heart or whether the revival book forced him to do that, we don't know. What if, using something to modify it, Dream could revive the entire old server? Dream XD, whoever that is, is in charge of upkeeping the server rules and watching over the land in general. If the revive book is connected to him, then it's connected to the server, which means that could actually be possible. It seems like the reason the actual world will become what? flooded is because Dream is going to destroy it and force everyone to start over. This won't be a 1.18 reset because as we know 1.18 isn't a new world, it's just lands far away from the SMP. This would allow Dream to rewrite history and no one expects something as insane as that to be the plan to do- Shit! <clears throat> Animagician's bringing up some pretty good freaking points here! Because they- so they did just update the server uh, which you got to go through a portal to essentially a whole new land. And, uh, that's a really, oh man, that's tough. 
He's bringing up some really good points. He's he's kind of swaying Destroy me a little. I'm not gonna entire lie. Server and seeing as Mizu and whatever horrible things really happened there was pretty near future and showcased exactly this. It could be the case that they won't realize his intentions soon enough to stop him. As Dream really keeps his plan close to his chest, it is possible he will never be thought to be a hero. As even Ranbob, whose character is literally a dream stand, said whether he was a good person or not depended on one's personal worldview before finishing off his own axe murder killing spree. But he will have won, and that was the only thing Dream wanted anyway. Dream also caused this whole apocalypse scenario somehow and made this weird idol worshipping theme room thing happen and then afterwards caused the city of Mizu to become lost for several centuries. This quick image we got of the future is enough to make it seem inevitable that Dream succeeds, right? Except for one thing. Carl is time traveling because he wants to fix the problems of the present, his present, the one we watch on the SMP every day. If he gets enough clues to catch on to Dream's God, plan, it dream is honey. possible that he would be able to stop it. And maybe that is why the in-between and the other side are fighting over him. The in-between is trying to preserve the order of things and hence it traps time travelers. The other side on the, well, other side, wants to help improve reality for everyone and trusts in Carl's power to save the world from ultimate destruction. There's a theme of the nether in the other side, a dimension where water physically cannot exists, a dimension that would hate, therefore, the flooding of the SMP as we see in Mizu. In the end, the prediction all the evidence is pointing towards is that Dream has a plan to unite the server again in his own image, resetting it how it was before he lost control that first time that is completely nuts and somehow almost works, but at some point something Carl does because of his knowledge of time traveling sets the timeline off track and saves the server. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this one about what really happened during the jailbreak stream. Subscribe! What? Oh my god, Spotify. There we go. Okay, uh and a magician, I see what you're doing. You got some pretty good points here. God, do I think he's gonna reset the server though? I mean, I could definitely see it though, right? Cause like even everything that's built can all be, you know, people can rebuild new stuff. And it's definitely a good storyline. Like, chat, just imagine how bananas the internet and Twitter would go if Dream literally just reset everything. Like, wow. Okay. Which I think would also maybe make sense of why these damn hiccups. Um, Carl has been putting off his newest uh, cause he's for like a month, two months now, he keeps saying that he's about to come out the brand new Tales of the SMP. Maybe that's why he's putting it off. He's been waiting for some things to happen um, for him to time travel and try and maybe change something. I don't know. Okay, I'm liking this. Again, if you guys have not seen uh, Animagician's video before uh, of Dream Trick to Saul, you definitely got to check it out because it will explain a lot more of the theories that are in this video um, and give you a little context behind them. But I love this Animagician. Keep them theories coming. Uh, he does some really good research and uh, I, I got to say, I'm not disagreeing with him. I can definitely see it. And, you know, Dream, I feel like, you know, as soon as the server went one way, Dream wanted it to go completely other way. And maybe he's found a way to reset that. So, uh, but I had a blast reacting to this and I hope you enjoyed the reaction. And if you did chat, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Make sure you check out Anna Magician's channel as well. Show him some love and smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, it's eat, sleep and make beats. And as usual, be kind to one another. And that's all I got. Boom! I'm out! Uh, got my love for the Sauce Gang! Peace! I love you guys. Merry Christmas! Boo!